Hi, and thanks for tuning in. A while back, the Journal of Advertising Research did a study. They took 3,000 consumers and exposed them to some commercial messages. Some were strictly verbal, and some had music in them. There were some interesting findings. Uh, the ones that were strictly verbal had a recall score of 62%. The ones that had music had a recall score of 83%. Now, for those of you who are keeping track, that's about a 33% more effective rate for the commercials with music. Today there's much more than TV commercials to deal with. There's a virtual explosion because of the internet. All kinds of applications beyond broadcast. Podcasts, webcasts, product demos, banner ads, website enhancements, webinars, PowerPoints, music on hold, and blog sponsorships. And with all this clutter, you need an advantage. Remember that study? 33% more effectiveness through music. So let's see how you can tap into that kind of effectiveness. This series is going to take a look at the elements that make up a real strong commercial or commercial message that has music. We'll study things like music relevance, the vocal quality, catchy lyrics, benefit descriptions, powerful melodies or music, sound effects, repetition, I did say repetition, audience identification, branding, and cultural resonance. To illustrate these elements, we have clips of famous classic TV and radio commercials from the Internet archives of the Prelinger Collection. So this series will be entertaining as well as informative. What's better than that? But most important, you'll learn some of the ways to ensure that your messages break through the clutter and are seen, heard, and remembered. So sign up for this series and enjoy yourself. And for more information on how to make your messages more effective through music, visit Jingles, J-Y-N-G-L-Z dot com. Producers of Jingles and consultants as well. See you next time. J-Y-N-G-L-Z, Jingles.